So I've been getting some questions on my latest pattern, the tattoo crop sweater, on um, how to do the embroidery stitch that I used. It's a really basic stitch. It's called the chain stitch if you're new to embroidery. And if you're not new to embroidery, then you'll be pretty familiar with it because it's one of the most basic stitches. And I'm going to show you how to do that today onto the knit fabric. So when you're making your sweater, you make the whole sweater first and you block it flat and the sleeves are not seamed yet so it will just be like a big flat sleeve. And in the pattern there's a tutorial showing you the steps to make it. So first you make the zigzag line up and then zigzag lines out and then off of each point of the zigzags you'll make a little cluster of stitches. And so I'm going to share with you today how to do that. So the yarn that I used for this sweater is Shibui Knits Mai and it's a blend of alpaca and fine merino wool and it's really soft and airy and it's just the perfect sweater for this design yarn for this sweater. Um, but you could really use any kind of yarn that you wanted. You just want to make sure that it's a nice contrast color. So to do the embroidery you want to make sure that you have just your um, a piece of thread on your darning needle and I always suggest working with your swatch first your gauge swatch to make sure that you can get the tension correct before moving on to work on the actual sweater so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle and insert it from behind and I like to do it just right in between two rows of knit stitches and you're going to leave a little tail so that you don't pull it through. And you're going to make a little loop on the front of your fabric like this. Enter your needle in through the same hole that you came out of. And then pull it up from behind about two stitches or so in front of where you entered. And then you're going to pull that through and going to gently tighten. Now this is where you have to be careful that you don't pull too tight or else your sleeve will pucker if the stitches are really tight. So that's basically the chain stitch right there. So to do it again, you're just going to loop around like this, enter through the same hole you came out of, and then come out about two stitches or so up. And just try to eyeball it and make sure that they're even. And then give it a little tightening. So that's your basic chain stitch. When you're working in the pattern with the zigzags, you when you get to one point, you want to make sure you end this before starting a new section. If you keep going and you just move in a new direction like this, you're going to get a kind of a funny pull on the stitch and it won't look very clean. So if you want to end to move in a new direction, you're just instead of making this loop again, you're just going to enter into the fabric just about a stitch or so up and pull it through and it'll give you this little notch there and that ends it. So then you can start going in a new direction and you just want to enter somewhere close to that hole and come up through the front and then you can, you're can you ready to start doing a loop and enter and then come on out and you're ready to start moving in a new direction like that. Now when you're working the clusters you're just basically going to be doing a lot of single stitches. So you'll end this stitch here just like we just said and then if you're making a cluster you're going to want to just come up from somewhere else, make another loop, enter back in and you're just going to keep working like that making the single little loops kind of all over the sides and that'll give you one of the little clusters. So once you feel like you've had enough practice on a swatch and you've gotten the tension right, you can follow the instructions in the tutorial to lay out the whole shape and it helps you just lay it out so that the size is correct. And you don't have to be worried about making everything perfectly the same size. It's just on one sleeve so it doesn't have to match anything else 
and it's meant to be a branch so it's going to look organic even if everything's not perfect um, so once you go through you'll have this whole thing and then you can wear your sweater so I'm going to include the link to the pattern in below this and this is my first video so if you have any suggestions on how it went let me know and I hope to be adding more of these kind of um, tutorials to YouTube like specifically for my patterns so that I can walk you through different things so if there's another pattern you have a question about just let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to make a video to clarify something thanks